Hello, welcome back. And I know it's been a long, such a long time. Uh, I wanted to take a break from YouTube actually. Um, but so now it's a 2022 recap, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit what happened. So when it comes to golf, I haven't competed a, a lot. Uh, there's one reason for it, and that is my handicap is a little bit too high. Uh, but I mean, it's enough low to be enter a tournament, but because because there's so many other good players there have much lower handicaps than me, they will be easier to get in there, and there's, then there's no spot for me. So I I tried to enter as many tournaments as I could, but I couldn't do it because I d didn't get in. Uh, the first one didn't go well, I, sh I shot high scores, so yeah, it's a bit failure there. But then on the second tournament, I shot my best score in a tournament, so that was nice to see that I improved. Uh, and then I have entered a tournament called Feeling Championship for Death, and I came sec uh, sorry, third place, bronze, so that was nice. Uh, so it was in Finland, in Givaskila, I think it was. I want to have revenge for because the year before I was leading the, the, the tournament after the first round, but then I lost it and came second. So I wanted to have that revenge. But as I told you, I came third. And the same guy won again. So I'm feeling a bit like, ugh. But it's fine. I mean, I'm not getting the top trees every year. So that's a good sign. Someday I will get that first spot. Or first place. And now the biggest tournament that was in last year, 2023. It was European Championship for Deaf. And it was at my home golf club. Because I took it, the tournament to there. <laughs> it was nice. Uh, so as many different players from many different countries in Europe, they came to my golf club and we had a, a little, a little nice tournament. And I end up the eighth best place, eighth, eighth place. It's, it feels like a, a good recipe to have improved. Um, so. Yeah, that's, that was 2023. I mean, I have practiced a lot of golf. I played a lot of golf. But tournament-wise, it was not good. So this year, 2024, I have a different take on my plan than different uh, earlier years. So this time, I'm going to play from... March ish to June ish. Just play, no tournament, just play to lower my handicap. And then at the June ish, I will enter my tournament phase, if you say so. That's where I will be really sharp and uh, play well. Uh, and in August, there will be a World Championship for Deaf too in Australia. And I really hope I will get in the in the troop for that. And I think I will get in because they said they will send three or four players. And the top three in the rankings for the national team. So it, it does look good for me. So I think it will come. Uh, but tournament wise for this year, it will be less too. But I think it's for the best. Uh, I feel I need to focus the lower my handicap first before I can enter the Thomas so I can enter more Thomas easier um, later on. I will try to qualify to Asia too. And I mean, that's a big step, isn't it? But if I don't qualify for the Asian tour, I can get in the Asian tour develop development too. Development, and so 
that one is a tool under Asian tool. And if you get in the top 30, I think, on the order of merit, you will get in Asian tool. Hey, sorry, it was top 10 to get in the Asian tool uh, the following season. So I think it's perfect for me to learn the ropes, to be competitive all year round, uh, as much as I can, as, at least. So it's going to be an interesting journey. And I have plans with my father to go to Thailand. I get some sponsors. So I hope I get them some luck there too. Who knows what this year will bring. Uh, so stay tuned, subscribe, and see what happens. Please?